Chapter 3 Quick, Lucy! We have to hide! What do you mean? I'm in no mood to play games with you. Edmund went and hit a ball through the library window. Old Mrs. McCready will have our heads if she finds us. It's not my fault. Peter threw the ball to me in the first place. Enough! Everyone, follow me! First, I'm gonna save. Yes. Alright. Zoom. Alright, let's flee here. In here! She's faster than she looks! Hide in that musty wardrobe? You've got to be joking, Peter. I'm perfectly serious. Do you want to get caught? Alright, let's go. Move back! Stop shoving! Ow! You're on my foot! Don't push! Peter, are your socks wet too? Look at this, now we're all in here. And we're playing as Lucy again, I think. We play as a, a different character each chapter. Don't worry, I'm sure it's just your imagination. I'm sorry for not believing you, Lou. Will you forgive me? Of course. And Edmund, you little scoundrel, apologize to Lucy. All right, all right, I'm sorry. That's all right, some children just don't know when to stop pretending. So what do we do now? Since she's been here before, I think Lucy should decide. Well, why don't we all go and visit my friend, Mr. Tumnus? But we can't go hiking in the snow dressed like this. I've got it. We could borrow some old fur coats from the wardrobe. But this is a girl's coat. Everyone follow me to Mr. Tumnus' house. Alright. Let's go. I think this stuff we can still do here. Because it's important to get collectibles when you can. Um... Oh, is there an enemy here? <laughs> See, they actually help you fight the enemies. Which is really cool. Thank you, Peter. Get away. Go away. Die. Thank you. Here's Mr. Tumnus' house. The door's broken off. Lucy, wait! Who would do something as terrible as kidnapping dear Mr. Tumnus? Look at this note. The Fawn Tumnus is hereby charged with high treason against the Queen of Narnia for fraternizing with humans. How splendid. Well, I think it's high time we turned back. But what about Mr. Tumnus? If he was arrested for being with humans, there's nothing we can do. You don't understand. I'm the human. The witch knows he helped me. Don't worry, Lou. We'll think of something. Why help? I mean, he's a criminal. What if the queen's right? Psst. Did something just psst us? That's such a weird line, even in the movie. Yes, I have seen the movie, and I've read all the books. It's a beaver. Come here, little fellow. We won't hurt you. Uh, what was this voice in the movie? Because uh, I want to do the voice in the movie because I liked it. You don't have to speak so slowly. I can hear you just fine, thank you. It's a talking beaver. Lucy Preventsi. Yes, that's me. That's the panpipe that Mr. Tumnus used to play. Is he alright? I have much to tell you all, but there are spies in this forest. Follow me. I'm not even doing the voice in the movie. It doesn't sound a thing like it. All right, let's go. Follow Beaver Dude. Which way did he go? Where'd you go, dude? 
Where's the beaver? Okay, not this way. I get lost in this game real easily sometimes, because it's not always obvious what you're supposed to do. Oh, here we go. The witch's force is like to block these paths off to make free travel harder. I'm too small to move these rocks. Can you manage it? Um. How do we do this? There's one. Okay, there we go. Now that those rocks are taken care of, let's make our way to the west. Alright. Look! That's Mr. Tumnus Muffler! What's it doing in the snow? The witch's forces must have scattered his belongings as they left. How sad. Well, I'll pick it up and return to him when we see him next. I'm not going to be collecting all those items, because I have no idea where all of them are, but... You know. I'll collect that. Just so we have that. Oh, you stupid piece of crap. Come here. Die. Okay. Stop it. Well... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to eat something unless absolutely necessary. I don't remember what that thing does. I probably missed the instruction for it earlier. I love the music in this game, too. I keep thinking the beaver is an enemy coming up, and then, yeah. Here's a chest. There's some tea. Oh, daughter of Eve! Might you help me? A talking squirrel, too? How can we help you? The witch's army came through and ransacked these woods. They looted my home and a treasured family heirloom is lost. Can you help? This squirrel is a dear friend of mine. We'd both be obliged if you could help. I don't think we should. I'm cold. We need to find a place to rest. It's the least we can do. After all, the witch came through because of me. Lucy's right. Everyone, let's make this quick and be on our way. First, I'm going to break this. Oh, ice. I hate going on ice. Okay. Slippy sliding. Would really help to have a map in this game. How many of these enemies are there? Get out of here. Ooh, sandwich. Oh, I guess they pick things up for you, too. That's helpful. That wasn't the right way, I guess. Can't get through there. My freeze meter is starting to... There we go. Ugh. There's a fireplace. And I keep hitting the wrong button for attack. There we go. Okay. Open the chest. Make some toast. I guess I can't get up there.
Hmm. Some matches. I'm finding a lot of matches, and that's going to come in handy because sometimes we have to build fires and fireplaces that aren't lit. Some more matches. Nope. Let's get that. I still don't know what that does, but... You know. Well, there's a fireplace. There we go. Okay. Nothing this way. fireplace. Any more matches. The level design is actually pretty forgiving in this game, though there are a few really jerkish areas in this game. Especially the crossing the icy river level. I hate that level. I dread when I get to that. Okay, let's heal up a little bit. Um, we'll eat a sandwich. There we go. Okay. There's a sandwich. More matches. I'm just not good at timing my attacks in this game, it seems. Or maybe the design is just terrible. I don't know. Get out of here. No, why are you here? I keep pressing start instead of, oh, um, yeah, there we go. I'm not even sure where we're supposed to go. It's got to be this way, unless this is where I came from, but I don't know. Cookies. Oh, is that a wolf? That's pretty terrifying. Oh, cookie. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's where the heirloom is, then. Alright. Because I did remember that. What I'm going to do first... Um, warm up by the fire again. Sorry, I had to sneeze there a minute. That's why I turned the mic off. Uh, so many enemies in this. I guess it does show that Narnia wasn't all that safe, I guess. Is this where the squirrel was? Please tell me yes. There you are.
Is this what you were looking for, Mr. Squirrel? Oh, it's a Mr. Squirrel? I thought it was a Mrs. Squirrel. Yes, this acorn was the first in Narnia, and my father gave it to me. I wonder if that was actually in the books. I don't remember that in the books, but... Well, obviously, this part where they recover the heirloom was not in the books. Nor in the movie, for that matter, but... I wonder if that was part of the book's lore. I'll have to look that up sometime. That'd be interesting. Thank you. Now, I have a gift for you. I was asked to give you a nobility for your help. What kind of gift is a nobility, anyway? A nobility is a gift created by Aslan himself in recognition of bravery and kindness. It bestows an ability upon its bearers. This nobility bestows the ability called Aslan's Song. When equipped, you can play the panpipes. And when used in the right location, loyal Narnians in the area may come to your aid. Alright. So I think that's what we get. That's not what it is. Okay, there we go. So if we play that... Yeah. Play that when we need help, and then... Uh, friends will come to help us. Get out of here. There are enemies everywhere. This log is too heavy for us. Perhaps you should use your ability to call help. Alright, let's do it. It worked! Now, let us all push the log together. Friends, we are in your debt. Don't linger, lest the witch find you. I too must leave. May you find strength on your journeys, children of Eve. Goodbye, Mr. Squirrel. Yes, farewell. Now, children, stay close. It's much more dangerous from here.